Hello folks and welcome here to Divine Fine Motors. I want to thank all you all that are looking at this car and I want to tell you that you should call me immediately and buy it before it's gone and I'm going to tell you why. I'm Jack Price, I'm owner of Divine Fine Motors and folks I don't even know where to get started on this car but I'm going to tell you something. This is a basically a one floor to own car the lady bought it brand spanking new it's cindy brooker chevrolet in long or wildwood florida and folks this was a friend of the chevrolet dealer cindy her name was cindy brooker chevrolet she has since sold the chevrolet dealership but i got to talk with the parties who own this car. I first want to tell you that about five or six years ago, my wife and I, Carol, she's part owner with me of Divine Fine Motors, said to ourselves, when our last child leaves for college, that we were going to buy us a Millennium Yellow Corvette, a C5. Now, I have owned about four Corvettes. My dad had a 62 Corvette. My son has had two Corvettes. We're just Corvette fanatics. And I think this is the nicest looking Corvette that Chevrolet ever made, period. I'm not saying the fastest. I'm not saying the sportiest. I'm saying the best looking. So I told my wife we'll buy one when our daughter, Jacqueline, goes off to school. Well... I'm proud to say that, let me say this, this is my home here in Palm Harbor, Florida, folks. I take all of my videos and all of my pictures of our cars right here in my driveway. After I take the pictures and the videos, I take these vehicles, if we don't drive them, to our enclosed facility, and they go inside a big old climate control facility. They don't get rained on, they don't get sunshine on them, they don't get dirty. We've been here now going on 12 years living in this home. We're from West Virginia. We've been in Florida about 22 years. We were blessed to raise three of our beautiful children here. Two of them made it into the University of Florida. And our little baby, she just got into Yale University. I got to brag on her a little bit, Jacqueline. And that's the one that we said when she goes off to college that we're going to get a Corvette. Well, it's been a year. She's been up there a year getting ready to go back and start her sophomore year. My birthday was June the 7th. June the 6th, I was on a computer looking for divine finds about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. I have the privilege of being able to go to one of the largest automotive dealer only auctions in the whole country here in Orlando, Florida called Okoy Auto Auction. When I was looking through hundreds and thousands of cars, I came across this Corvette. When you go to an auction, the people have these cars condition reported. It's called a CR. It's a condition report. They have professional people look at these automobiles and they condition them for you. So if you're online or on a computer in another state, you can know the condition of that car. It goes from zero to five. This car was a 5.0. That's perfect, folks. There wasn't a mark that they could uh, say on it. I told my wife, I said, honey, you're not going to believe this. Now, this is the night before my birthday on June the 6th. I said, you're not going to believe this, but they've got a 2000 Millennium Yellow Corvette. No accidents. And it scores a perfect five. And I said, it's going to run through the auction tomorrow. It's only got 28,000 miles on it. It's got brand spanking new tires on it. And it looks like this. All underneath it and everywhere. Can you see? Can you see up in there? Can you see how nice it is? It still has the tags on it. And I said... I'm going to buy it for myself for my birthday, and we're going to get it. Now, I say that with about every car I get, but folks, let me tell you something now. This is as close 
to perfection as you'll ever find a C5 Corvette with any miles on it. It's absolutely immaculate. And I'm talking about it's immaculate everywhere. Look under here. So, I was the bidder. Look at this. Look at the plastic. Look how nice all that is. Look at this. I'm telling you, this thing is just, a, well, I won't say perfect, but it's as close to perfect as you'll get. So I bought the car. So long story short, I found another one. 1997 over there, that's a one Florida owner too. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep. So I'm going to put them both up for sale. Now listen to me. I talked to the man who bought this car because the lady who first bought it, she had, of course, other cars. And one of the things she loved is Jeeps. She traded this and her Jeep in for like a fifty, sixty thousand dollar big Jeep that they had customized up at this Jeep Dodge store. This man was there, saw this car the next day. He said, he said, Jack, I've had five Corvettes. I saw that car, I stopped, I looked at it, and he said it was perfect, and I bought it. That man only had it two years and seven months. He is an elderly man that lives in the big villages up near Ocala, Florida. It's a big retirement. Folks, this thing's got both tops. It's a big retirement community up there. Put in the villages on your computer and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's world renowned. But I talked to him, he said, Jack, I said, I bought that car, sir, that you owned. And he said, well, you got a good one. He said, that car's like brand new. I said, I know, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't. And he told me the story of what I just told you. Then he got to talk to the lady because she came to the dealership with her Jeep and he was admiring this cool Jeep. The next day he brought the car back to the dealership, she was there. He started talking to her about her Jeep, and then she told him, she said, that is my yellow Corvette. So she brought him all the books, the paperwork. She even brought him the sticker, the window sticker, the VCR tape, which I'm trying to get. I've got all your owner's manuals. I've got both keys, both key fobs, all the carpets. Folks, this, this car... This Corvette is perfect inside, and it's getting ready to rain here before long, so... I I'm telling you, this is one of the nicest cars I've ever seen, and if I don't decide to pull it and keep it, you better call me before I decide to just keep it. I don't know what else I can tell you other than this car is perfection. And I'm talking, folks, everywhere. I'm talking about underneath it. I'm talking about every corner every crevice look at this let me just show you something can you see up through there can you see that the man said jack i just never drove the car this lady only put about 1600 miles a month on it this man put less than that it's got brand spanking new tires all the way around it it has 22 service records at chevrolet it's been there like clockwork it's just one of the nicest Corvettes you'll ever lay your eyes on. And these wheels don't have a mark on them. They're perfect. There's not a mark on them anywhere, not a scuff on them. The interior, it, it's perfection. It looks like it's not even been used. I don't think, honest to goodness, that this seat over here has ever had anybody in it over an hour. If there was, it's even got the comes with a cargo net. Look at this. Let me show you something. Look at that in there. That's perfection. All this stuff right here, this dash, it's, it, it's just like new. It's just like new. The steering wheel looks like it's that hadn't had hands on it. It has both tops. The motor compartment you can eat off of. It has every option available that year uh, but the uh, handling package. Okay, so you're going to get everything you can get with Corvettes. It's got the, the cargo cover. It's got the uh, cargo nets never been, never been off. You got the, uh, look at this. Look how clean that is. 
the back it's got the six disc or ten disc twelve disc CD changer look at this thing it's got the glass top that probably has never been on there the other one's probably never been off and everything on this car do you see it it's that new it's the nicest nicest Corvette I have ever seen that's not brand new now folks I'm telling you this car is nicer than I'm explaining to you it's just gorgeous you know it's just gorgeous I love it you know somebody's just taking such good care of this guy he just took such good care of this she took good care of it for heaven's sakes this is what Corvettes should be about clean Carfax this, this, this car has had not a touch of paint on it anywhere it's all original man told me he said Jack it's all original the motor it looks like it did when she took it off of the showroom floor now this is the lady she was a friend of the lady who owned a dealership and Cindy called her and said you need to come down here I've got that yellow Corvette and you need to buy it and she did and she lived right there in Florida put it in her garage and drove her Jeeps and her numerous other cars and did just exactly what these cars are for took it out on Sundays it's got a new battery they put a fairly new battery in it there when they took it in at the big Mopar dealership but folks it's right it's still got the original air intake and everything all original stuff so there it is I don't know what else to tell you I've got both keys both key fobs it is absolutely perfection no lights no issues whatsoever it runs and drives and rides like brand spanking new so again if you decide you want this thing this is not going to last till the end of the auction somebody's going to buy it you better call me and you're not going to have to pay twenty thousand dollars for it or 21 or 22 not even going to have to pay 19. i'm probably going to have the reserve probably under eighteen thousand bucks 19 something but listen you'll not find a nicer one folks and it's ready like i said you got brand spanking new tires i think they have three thousand miles on them all the calipers and brake calipers like new everything under it is perfection i mean this thing is look at that you see that i mean it's super super nice guys if it wasn't i wouldn't i wouldn't buy it myself but so here's what you do when you decide you want it like I say, give me a call. We will get your paperwork out to you. This will go in the garage until your shippers come and pick it up. Uh, once you do a deposit, we'll get you the rest of your paperwork out as quick as possible. My wife will be doing that for you. And uh, God bless you. And do me a favor. If you buy it, please hold on to it. and Give me an opportunity to buy it back from you one of these days telling you folks it's the nicest one I've ever seen for sale now uh, I, I'm sure they have them in museums and some people buy them and don't ever drive them but it's as nice as you're gonna get like it's got all the mats carpets perfect look here's the driver's mat it's got a little leaf on it there but just to show you how nice that is so God bless you and congratulations on this car please take care of it uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, all you guys and girls out there that have watched uh, my videos and stuff and have bought from us, I want to take this minute and say thank you so much for all your business. God bless you. We have been so blessed by you. Divine Fine Motors is going on seven years now. I've been in the car business, folks, for 26 years, praise God. And I got out about, oh, over seven years ago at the BMW store. That's where I worked. And I just decided it was just nonsense going back and forth. Listen, I'm like your neighbor. You go down the road and you find a nice guy that treats you right, I'm going to do that. I don't have salesmen I have to pay commission to or managers or big overhead expenses. I buy the finest cars in the world. The finest cars in the world. And I sell them at the best prices in the world. I'm very fair and I'll treat you like you like to be treated. Thank you. God bless you. I'm going to take you some pictures. Bye-bye. We love you. Listen, be kind to one another, folks. Love on one another. And please love this car when you get it and take good care of it. Look at that. Bye-bye.